What's the deal with, with, with Karen Goldner? Because the new Sentinel site still says 13 votes. I mean, I saw you on the cell phone. I'm sure you wouldn't have brought her on stage unless you had it from somebody. Tonight, Karen Goldner has won by 13 votes. Uh, does not mean it will not be contested in court down the road, but tonight she is the victor. And if they want to try taking the second district from us, they can try. All right. So what? What do you think? Uh, it just what, what's your feelings right now? I mean, this has to be a great, oh, great you know, night. We're elated. We're really happy. And, uh, winning the mayor's race was huge. We picked up another seat in New Haven. So a net gain of seven seats over two years in the Republican Party. That's what it's all about for us: is winning seats, winning races. Doing great tonight. Got Karen Goldner on council. Life's really good tonight. I heard um, from a, a, a current Republican city councilman that going into tonight, he told me that if Karen Goldner won, it would be the greatest upset in the history of Fort Wayne politics. What do you think about well, that? Well, I will tell you, earlier in the year, I had a couple of Fort Wayne uh, Republican city councilmen tell me that Don Schmidt was simply unbeatable. And I thought, boy, you just haven't met Karen Goldner yet. Uh, so she ran a great campaign. She raised a whole lot of money. She did everything right. It was, I, I was pretty sure all along, I've been telling people for weeks she was going to win. People thought I was crazy, but I just knew she was going to win. What about uh, Joe Fox? Tell us about Joe Fox. Joe's done a great job managing a campaign, came to it late, uh, and it looks like it's an easy campaign. You're running against a guy who's under indictment, but you know, it made it very tricky to win this campaign because campaigns have a rhythm, and Matt was always keeping us off rhythm. He was always doing something different or some strange story was breaking about him. It made it difficult to, to run a real race against him. Now, uh, to your own horn just a bit. You deserve a lot of credit for tonight. You're the party chairman. Give us something. Say you know, all I am is a cheerleader for the party. I'm the guy that kind of kind of makes sure all the people work together towards a common goal, and you kind of slowly steer that ship. You don't take the steering wheel and jerk it. You kind of slowly inch it one way. I think I'm doing a good job of that so far, but uh, those people out there did all the work. They're those who deserve the credit. All right, congratulations.